Phil DeRue back again with another video. So today I have a special guest collaboration with me. Now you know I like to give you guys, you know, tactical, more overall valued advice and content so that you can take this with you for your training. So today I'm gonna to go ahead and bring on Danny from Boxing Science. This is a guy that I've been looking at now for quite some time that I truly respect in the industry. And now I got to talk with him up in London when I was doing a seminar. And I could see that our principles and the way we think about training athletes coincide. So I wanna make sure that I give you an opportunity guys here so you can check him out, see what he has to offer and what he does to get his fighters prepared. So without further ado, here's the video. Hope you like it. You know what to do, hit the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification and let's get into the video. Hello everyone, my name is Sonny Wilson. I'm the co-founder and strength conditioning coach at Boxing Science. We're based in Sheffield in the UK and we've trained and researched over 500 athletes from amateur boxers all the way through to professional world champions. From our knowledge and experience of training all these athletes, we've shared a number of like workshops and online content to make sure that we're sharing the message of sports science in boxing. And part of this is on our YouTube channel so if you haven't been a subscriber to our Boxing Science YouTube channel yet, please click the link below. Visit our page where we've got loads more different workouts. Today what I'm going to show you is how we get fit in just two minutes of running. So this session consists of four 30 second maximal sprints where the athlete is trying to hit the highest intensity possible and trying to endure that during the 30 seconds. Following those 30 seconds they have total recovery so they're totally rested, refreshed, and ready to go into the next rep. We mainly use the Woodway Curve, and that's what we're gonna show you today. So we need this in boxing because it's a high intensity, intermittent sport. So we go up to them high intensities, and then we recover from that. So what this is doing is taking you to a place that you're probably not going to go in, uh, in a boxing fight. But it's preparing us to go to any kind of intensity when we're in the ring. In these sessions, these are really effective because we're pushing our athletes to very, very limit. So they're getting that exposure to real high intensity actions and then they're being challenged to repeat them over the amount of reps and endure them over 30 seconds. From a physiological point of view, this helps our body extract and utilize oxygen out the muscle. So it's making our muscles more effective at using the oxygen delivered through the blood and that's in improving aerobic performance. Today we're going to take through three athletes that have been on this training block over the past four weeks. So what we're going to take you through is how to prepare for this, as in the warm-up to make sure that this exercise is safe, and they're getting that, their maximum sprints in straight away. So we're going to do some running mechanics, and then we're going to show you how we warm up on the curve. We're then going to show you how to perform these, you see the absolute max intensity that these lads give on the curve and also how to monitor it. So we take down their speeds at different time points, saving it in Excel and then we're going to analyse their performance following the session. Okay lads, <laughs> we're just going to get us doing some leg swings, nearest leg to the wall, just line up down here, nice and upright, toes up. What I don't want you to do is to get to a point where you're trying to get as much range as possible, but altering your posture, okay? So you want to keep your posture nice and upright. Even when we go there, we're squeezing our glutes there. 10 on each side. Good. Oh, look at Massey. Spot the one that does, uh, that's done MMA. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. And when you come back, make sure that you your foot's not turning out, point your toe towards the floor. That's it. Good, and then we're just going to work across as well. So into the wall here, just working across, opening up that range. Off we go. Eight on each side. Keep your foot planted there still, Matty. Great, we're going to go into the wall. We're just going there, knee up, 
heel tucked in, toe tucked up towards your shin, boom, there, change. Again, we're not altering that posture there. We're keeping the chest up, shoulders back, just like we're going to do a deadlift. Good. Drive it in. Good. Do six overall, so three on each side. So feet back a little bit further, teeth. Okay. And then bring that heel tucked un underneath you. Good. Good. Toe tucked up, Vlad. Good. Okay, have a little bit of rest. So make sure that your toe is tucked up towards your shin, okay? A minute, your toe's pointing to the floor. Now we're going to do three on each side of this. We're going there, one, two, one, two, one, two, yeah? When this knee comes up, it's coming up fast, but we're still getting that full range, okay? So your knee's still coming in line with your hip. We're not going like that, okay? Off we go. Three on each side. Boom, boom, good. Good, as fast as you can. Good, heel tucked in. Good, make sure your heel's tucked in. This is firing up your hamstrings. It's what we need on these 30 second maximal sprints. We're gonna do high knee march. Nice and upright, knees on line with your hips, opposite arm, opposite leg, going through the balls of your feet. Off we go. Good, not bouncing on it. Keep your foot nice and planted, good. Good. And then just have a walk back, Matty. Loosen off whatever you need to. Open up your hip. Twist round. Do a bit of a dance, whatever you need to do. Okay, now we're doing little air skips. Halfway, so as knees coming up, just halfway. As foot's not coming out in front of us, keeping in that line there, so we're coming forward. A little skip, make sure them arms are firing up as well. Good, only halfway, only halfway, only halfway. Good, it's important that we get halfway so we get that control. Good. Good. It's important that we're bouncing off the floor, we're not kind of shuffling, yeah? Make sure we're bouncing, driving up. Okay, now we're going to bring our knee to hip level. Firing up again, trying to stay nice and upright. Off we go. Good, going through balls our feet. Toe tucked up, good, nice. Really good work, this lads. Good, and then we're just going to make them high knees a little bit more dynamic. Driving through, keep your heels tucked up. Good work. Knees level with your hips. Try and keep them knees aligned, uh, Vlad. Okay, one leg's gonna fire, one leg's gonna stay dead, okay? You're gonna do five on your right, five on your left. So we're coming forward, boom, 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 boom. We're gonna do five. It's nice and upright, knee bends, five, really driving into the floor, keeping that other leg dead, okay? Five on your right, five on your left, let's go. Hey, it's difficult. Hopefully I made it look easy, okay? Off we go. Nice. Good. Nice. Again, Vlad. <laughs> Going out here, let's keep it nice and light. Let's give that another go, let's give that another go. So keep it nice and aligned. Get that rhythm. Driving into the floor. You don't need to, hold on, it don't need to be a stamp. Just needs to get a good ground contact. Think about your poor girls. When nice fast taps on the floor, that's same. Off we go. Good. Other side. So keep that other leg dead. Good. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. All I wanted to do, I'm going to do five warm up sprints, 10 second sprints. I'm going to start off uh, around about 70%, then working our way up 70, 80, 90, and then. You want to do two, like kind of max out, sprint, max out 10 second sprints. Okay, so I want you to try and hit that max intensity, what I want you to hit on the 30 seconds. Okay?
Last target today, Matty, 29, max out. Then I wanted to keep it above 22 of that second um, time point, and then trying to keep it above 20. So what we're wanting to do today is just trying to keep up that second sprint. Okay, so what I've, what I've done, I've put around about the max score. Obviously, it depends like how, how fast you start and everything like that. It might be 0.1 out, but what I want to do is try and control that decline. Okay, so 29, 22, 20. Vlad, you've got exactly the same. And a teeth, 26, 22, then keep it above 21. Yeah. We're doing four reps today. So I just want to give it, give it your all. I know you give it your all anyway, but last, last session, six reps. So obviously you're thinking about that back end of the session, just really go for it for these four reps. <laughs> last one of the program. So this is a real test of fear. Hence why we did the extra warm up, find you up, because I really want you to hit them high intensities today. Let's go in a minute. That's excellent. Do we keep it above 22? Come on. Twenty-one six. Excellent stuff. Drive it fast. Drive, 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 drive. Twenty-nine seven. Brilliant stuff. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. 24-4. Try to keep it above 21 for as long as you can. Drive, 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 drive. 3, 2, 1. 20.9, excellent. Twenty-five eight. Twenty-two six. Gone all the way, all the way, all the way. You've got to keep it above twenty-one. Three, two, one. Time. Well done. Twenty-one point six to finish. Fifteen seconds. We're going to the top of the treadmill. We're driving down, trying to hit that max intensity straight away. You know what to do. Three, two, one, let's go, 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 go! Gotta keep it above 20, Matt. Don't let it drop now. It's the last one, all the way through. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Let's hit that max speed, Brad. Let's go. Drive, 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 drive. Attack it. Twenty-six. Keep it above 21 for as long as you can. For as long as you can. 
21.6, excellent stuff. Keep your breath 20, don't let it drop now, Dad, come on. All the way through, all the way through, come on. 20, well done. Let's go, Teeth. Drive it. Twenty-five point six. Can we keep you above twenty-two for as long as we can? For as long as we can. Twenty-one point nine. That's good enough. Keep it above twenty point five. Come on, dig, 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 dig. Five, four, three, two, one. Twenty point six. Brilliant effort. Well done. We've got some sound effects on here. Numbers at start camp. Um, Matty, you were in 23.4. You hit 24 today. That's brilliant. Big improvement there. Um, Vlad, 22.2. You start at camp. 23.5. Mean speed now. So that's a massive improvement. And then Ativ, you started at 22.1. Now your average speed is 22.9. Now I think that average would have been a lot better today if you didn't hit the max it sounds quite contradictory but because you hit their max speeds early on it, it, the back end of the session suffered because of it but we're getting more out of you we've seen that with lactates hitting 22.6 22.5 and 19 these are massive numbers like you won't be exposed to when you when you're boxing so when you get into them high lactate situations in a boxing fight that's going to be feeling normal to you so it's great that you probably, I'd say, around about two or three millimol below that, going into your fourth rep. So for you to be at them really high lactates and still being able to perform them high speed, high force actions, it's fantastic. So credit to you. Good stuff. Let's go and stretch off. Cool down, recover well. And try and walk. <laughs> Good stuff, lads. Well done. Nice one. So that was a great session there, performed by Matty, Vlad and Atif. They were coming off the back end of uh, doing a full block of that. We do around about nine sessions during a training camp. And then we move on to some high intensity interval training work. Really put their body on the line there, hitting some really max speeds, some really high speeds of uh, Vlad hit his PB of 29.7 kilometers per hour. Matty was around about is PB, 28.8 kilometers an hour, and Atif hit 26.3 kilometers an hour in the session. Because we only had four reps, they hit really high speeds early on. This increased the lactate in the blood. So this made it a little bit harder to keep achieving them high speeds, them high intensities. You saw this drop within the third or fourth rep on especially Matty's and Vlad's who hit the highest uh, lactates that we've ever recorded here at Sheffield Harlem University. You know, hitting 22.6, 22.8 millimoles per litre. If we were going to do a lactate profile test, we'd cut the test at around about 12 millimole per litre. So they're almost going to double of our cutoff point in our testing. So the, this session, you have to really push it to the max, but it's also super effective. If you want to give it a go, get yourself on a woodway curve. But also you can do it outdoors. I'd say go out on a hill, maybe on a softer surface, or you can do it on the walk bike or the prowler. Thanks very much for watching. If anybody's got any comments or questions, please leave them in the box below. Thanks to Phil for letting us contribute to his channel. If you haven't got a subscription to the Boxing Science YouTube channel, 
please click the link below and subscribe. We've got plenty more workouts coming your way. Thanks guys, I'll see you soon.